Oh, we're gonna be late. We're gonna be late. Oh, God. Turn off the light. Today's gonna be a ridiculous day. I've got uh, I've used up all my absences in class, so I have to go to class today. I've got a meeting with uh, career services, and I don't even think I'm gonna be able to get my nap in. And now we are, are gonna turn from the 14th Amendment issues the remainder of this lecture to the First Amendment. We're going to talk about First Amendment guarantees. And I'm going to break this down into four different... Oh, it's not so work. How is JD this year? I mean, he used to pay attention in class, like last year, but now, when he does come to class, I mean, he's just clearly doing other things. It's out of control. Then we're going to look at First Amendment procedural issues, basically how to write a con law essay. Then we're going to spend most of our time on the most interesting area, which is regulation of speech content. And then we're going to finish up with a brief look at time, place, manner regulation of speech conduct. And let us begin by turning to the Establishment Clause. Now, as a general principle under the Establishment Clause, the government may not pass laws which prefer or aid one religion over another. The government may not pass laws which prefer or aid one religion over another. The test that you want to learn for Establishment Clause in case it comes up on an essay is from the case law Lemon v. Kurtzman, referred to as the Lemon Test. Hey, in order for a government regulation to be Thanks. valid, in other words, in order not to violate the Establishment Clause, we have a three-part test. Number one, the primary purpose of the law must be secular. Number one, primary purpose, secular. You're good. Number two, the primary effect of the law must neither advance nor inhibit religion. Okay, the next First Amendment area I call First Amendment Procedurally, we're going to be looking here at some of the techniques used in writing an essay, taking a statute, dealing with First Amendment. I didn't get to eat breakfast this morning. Woke up at 11. Mr. Brown, could you tell us about the Scalia dissent? Uh, yeah, I read for tomorrow accidentally. Um, I, I thought I was reading for today, but I, you know, I read for tomorrow. Hi. Hello, Mr. Brown. How Thanks are you today? today? Sure. Come on in All and sit right. down. How are things going? They're going good. Um, you know, just trying to find a job right now. Okay. So, um, so what do you recommend? How do I go about getting a job at this point? There's no jobs, but we try to stay positive. Is that your resume? Oh, this is my resume, yeah. So you've done your resume. That's, that looks pretty good. You're president of Al. I mean, um... Hey, Elizabeth, can I... Oh. Yeah, something like that. What other legal experience do you have here? Um, I did some intern... I did an internship last summer. Did you get an offer? 
No. Well, are you willing to move to, to find a job? Yeah, absolutely. I lived in um, D.C. last year, and I've lived several places, so I'm totally cool with moving. Well, I was thinking a little smaller market. Would you be consider? Would you consider that? What, like what? Bowlegs. Um, Bowlegs is that, is that like a town of like five thousand people? Well, more like five hundred people. No way, I'm living in Bowleg. Is there anything else more we local? Well, we have a job fair that's going on, and it actually, they're setting up here this afternoon. Okay, that'll work. I'm sorry, we're not hiring. I'm sorry, we're not hiring. Unfortunately, we will not be able to offer this. No. So is this for Brahms Corporate? No, this is for Brahms on Lindsay. Oh. Would you still like an application? Yeah. Good luck. Thanks.